Grab your My View Literacy 1.5 and open it to page 68 and 69. We talked about this page yesterday, Informational Text Anchor Chart. Text features in informational text include things like the picture and the label. A label is something telling us what the picture is about. There are also lots of other text features that we're going to see, such as headings and table of contents. Today's story is Seasons Around the World. It's an informational text. It has a table of contents. The table of contents will tell us what page to look on for each of these different topics, winter, spring, summer, fall, and the index will tell us the different words. Winter. This is our label telling us what this page is going to be about. During winter, the days are shorter than they are during other seasons. In many places, the air gets cold and it snows. Most plants and trees stop growing. Some die. Some animals hibernate. Highlight the words that help you make a prediction about the text. So what do you predict is going to happen? I think we're going to talk about the different seasons because it tells us winter and it's going to tell us what's going to happen during each one because it says during winter. Did you know when it is winter in the northern part of the world, it is summer in the southern part? Here's Norway. This is a map, it's a globe showing us where Norway is. Near the North Pole, the sun never shines in winter. It is dark all day. This is called a text box. A text box is an extra box with more information in it. It usually matches, goes along with the page, but doesn't match it exactly. Here we have another title, Spring. Spring comes after winter. In many places, baby animals are born. Flowers bloom and leaves appear on the trees. It can rain a lot during spring. The rain and warm weather helps plants grow. Underline the information that the picture and graphic on page 74 help you understand. So here we have our picture. Here's our graphic. What does it help us understand? What it's like in Norway. We have Norway. We have the North Pole here. So near the North Pole, what it's like because we have a picture showing it is dark all day, and we have a map showing us where it is. Did you know in some parts of the world there are only two seasons, a rainy season and a dry season? The seasons don't change much near the equator. Spring is like all the other seasons. Summer. During summer, the days are longer than they are during other seasons. The sunlight helps plants grow in the summer. People like to spend time in the sun too. Highlight the words that make you change or confirm a prediction you have about this text. Well, remember my prediction that we were going to talk about the different seasons and what happens during them? Is that still going on? Sure is. We've already talked about winter, spring, and summer. What do you predict will be next? Autumn or fall? Did you know in summer the sun never sets in Antarctica? This is the coldest place on earth. Even in summer, it gets never gets warm here. So just like at the North Pole, where it was always dark, in Antarctica, it's always light, but only during certain times of the year. Fall. During fall, the days start to get shorter again. The leaves on some trees change colors and drop to the ground. Animals start getting ready for winter too. They eat a lot. Some animals store food. Did you know some butterflies travel all the way from the United States to Mexico in the fall so they can stay warm in winter? In fall, many birds and animals move to warmer places where they can find food. Here we have an index. The index will tell us the word and what pages you can find it on. Animals, equator, fall, rain, spring, 
summer, trees, and winter. Look at all the pages for winter. Underline the information that the picture and graphic on page 80 help you to understand. What does the picture and graphic help us understand? That butterflies travel and where they go. They travel from the United States to Mexico. We're going to go to page 84 now. Use text features. Text features and graphics, such as photographs, help readers find and learn information. Photographs show more information about a topic. What information do you learn from the graphics? Go back to what you underline in the text to help you answer. So how does the information and the graphics go together? Right, the graphics help you picture what the information says, so they help you visualize. Graphics and pictures help you visualize. Or maybe understand. the information. This week we'll be working more with text features. Thanks for reading with me. See you next time. Bye!